materials you'll need for this one are a piece of aluminum foil, some food coloring, a small glass of hot water, and a large glass of cold water. You also need a pen or a pencil. Hey, it's Mr. K. Today we're going to do a cool science demo dealing with convection currents. Okay, I've added some red food coloring to the hot water here. And now I'm going to make a little top to go over our hot water. And I'm just going to take some aluminum foil, press it on there real tightly. I need to make a hole about the size of the width of a pencil, right in the middle of the top of it. Just kind of make a hole there, and then you're going to drop the water in into the cold water bath. What you'll hopefully be able to see now is the hot water actually rising up through the cold water. What this is called is a convection current. And this happens in all liquids and gases. So this is the reason why you know a pool could be hotter at the top at the surface and then in the deep end it's very cold the hot water will rise um, same way with the ocean now this also happens in the air this is what causes wind whenever hot air rises from the heated up land mass uh, it rises up into the colder air and then comes back down forming a convection current so you can see that I can see it pretty good here. Hopefully it shows up on the video, but you can see the red hot water flowing uh, up through the cold water. What will eventually happen if I were to leave this on long enough is it would actually form a current and the water would flow up to the top, back down and make a big circle, heating and cooling as it goes. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the underwater volcano demo. Uh, teaches about convection currents, and I like to do this one in class when we talk about convection, conduction, and radiation. If you'd like to check out more of my Cool Science Demos, you can go to the website, coolsciencedemos.com. We're on all the social media, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and you can also check us out at youtube.com slash coolsciencedemos. Take care.